It's exposing us to a lot of different projects happening in the seashore. You know, we're doing a good thing by trying to keep track of who's who. An historic lighthouse, fishing, and even surfing are just a few of the things you'll see here on these shores. But this place is not just a tourist attraction. I'm Cassidy Esposito, and welcome to this episode of Outside Science Inside Parks. We're here at Cape Lookout National Seashore, just off the coast of North Carolina. These barrier islands are home to a vast ecosystem of wildlife. Today, we will follow a group of scientists as they work to build habitats for sea turtles and document shorebirds. Let's take a look. So we are at Cape Lookout National Seashore off the coast of North Carolina and this place is very important to the environment and the community here um, because it is a nesting ground for sea turtles. They nest on the barrier islands out here and it's also a nesting and migration grounds for um, a lot of different shorebirds. We went out um, to the Cape Lookout National Seashore Islands in order to do some sea turtle surveying. Um, so we spotted some false crawls, which is when the moms come out and they don't exactly nest, but we can see their tracks on the sand. We also found a couple of sea turtle nests, um, which was exciting. And so we go ahead and mark those off to find some hatchlings later in the summer. We actually are doing a lot of really good work out here to set up enclosures around sea turtle nests that we find and to collect data on the different false crawls that we see um, and any of the other animals in the region. So yeah, we collect one egg sample from each nest, and so we'll pull the egg out of the egg chamber, it's sort of a sacrificial egg, with gloves on to protect any DNA cross-contamination, and then collect the egg in, in a vial of ethanol, and then assign a number to it, which is the same number that the nest uh, receives, and so scientists can um, track that particular egg sample to this nest and then to a particular female that laid the nest. It tells you uh, not only within the year, you'll track the female, like say it'll track like she laid three or four nests this year, and then we don't see that same uh, mother maybe a year or two, but then we'll see her um, a year or two later. We're at three nests and one false crawl today. I think Cape Lookout National Seashore is really special because sea turtles um, are federally protected and so because they nest here, the seashore holds a lot of importance in you know, making sure that these hatchlings uh, have the highest success to make it out into the water. Okay, 68.2. We got an American oyster catcher chick. And oyster catchers, because they use so much of their ecology, both for feeding and for nesting, um, they're a really good indicator of the health of the ecosystem as a whole uh, because they use so many of those different moving parts. So monitoring their numbers and making sure that they're at healthy levels is a great way of um, just looking at the ecosystem as a whole and making sure that it's healthy. One go! He was gone. <laughs> it's really cool to just get, that, get out there and not just, you know, see it. Um, or read about it in a book. It's just, you know, a lot of hands-on experience, which I love. It makes you learn um, and appreciate it even like that much more. Seeing the sea turtle eggs for me was a pretty big eye-opening moment because it's a lot of hard work getting in the sand and digging and, you know, sometimes you'll spend up to 30 minutes or an hour looking for the eggs. But once you find them and you see that perfect little egg chamber enclosure, it feels like a really magical moment to get to be in such close contact with them and know that the work that you're doing is going to make a difference in the future. The future of these turtles and these shorebirds are in good hands. Thanks for watching this episode of Outside Signs Inside Parks. We'll see you next time.